I love the word sensuous. From the sound of it to the definition bound to it. I love how the word rolls off your tongue, your lips. How the word itself bends and dips. How it creates a world of its own and it just sits. Waiting for that exact moment to tingle and tantalize your skin, your ears, your hips. And while I'm aware that there's an air of sexual connotation wrapped up in this lingual definition, the biggest mistake you can make is to confuse sensuality with sexuality. You see, while grass may be green, not everything that's green is grass. And there is a universe of wonder beyond a good-looking ass. Now, I like sex as much as the next guy, hell, maybe more. But sex without the senses, it's procreation, nothing more. What I'm talking about is the touches, the tastes, the sights and the sounds, the things that make life an adventure, that make experiences compound, like the beauty of a painting created from somebody's soul, or the articulate retelling of a tale that never gets old, the smell of a meal you've waited all day to taste, or the simple yet necessary touch of a lover's embrace. You see, if it's the littlest of moments that we really should savor, then it's the senses alone that give life its flavor. So the next time you hear the word sensuous, take a moment and really think what life without the senses might actually be. Because life without the senses is the sun with no light. It's summer without warmth. It's no taste in your bite. But add a few colors or feelings or tones and the world becomes vibrant, exciting and unknown. I love the word sensuous and all it holds true but especially the way it connects me with you. I keep waiting, hoping, watching, wishing for that moment of hope to elope from that sweet opening in between those stunning lips. In each breath, there's a depth that's inept at describing the perfect way you see right through this shield that I clearly yield imperfectly. You don't try, and I don't mind. But I find the kind of attention you provide forces my brain and my body to collide in such creative and disruptive tides that moments escape me. Hell, they overtake me. You overtake me. I would give an eternity and be eternally subservient to whatever deviant god you worship just to own it one moment of your precious time. Oh, how that moment would be sublime with you at my side, admiring me the way that I admire you. When the only thing to do is to appreciate that fleeting second that can resurrect a direct and longing connection with no specific direction and no need for course correction. Just a moment of perfection. Followed immediately by recession. A dying obsession, a faded impression, a fluttering compression of pressure in all the right intersections of an erect section of my mind, a place I never knew I had to find. A place I never knew I had to find. I want your body to embody me while your mind mystifies me, and our energies and physical bodies collide in a roller coaster ride of subtle lows and voracious highs. Where dreams and reality collide and there's no space, there's no time, simply rhythm and rhyme. Where our rhythms intersect and inject orgasmic cataclysms that dance on hymns of delight sung out with each long 
gasping breath and still the temptation to breathe succeeds to the temptation to touch and you no longer care about air because the air that was there no longer compares it just simply isn't enough where every moment is the first moment and every moment is the last moment in that moment we will be the only things that we need to be I will be with you and you will be with me I keep waiting hoping watching wishing for that moment of hope to elope from that sweet opening in between those stunning lips I enjoy sexual tension. I do. I enjoy the guessing, the not knowing, the simple insecurity hidden amassed marvelous wonder. I enjoy getting caught up with someone halfway through a smile and both of you having to just Take a moment. I enjoy getting caught up in conversation and consistently getting lost between the words that I hear and the chemistry that I feel. I enjoy that first touch, that first shiver, almost too subtle to notice. Almost. I enjoy that exact moment when you're secure in the feeling that the person you're attracted to is also attracted to you. I enjoy feeling someone else's anticipation of the night's events, that particular hunger of what's to come. afterwards, although I don't particularly enjoy the word snuggles. I enjoy winding down, making my bed, and knowing just how few people get to experience you. I enjoy. 